We've been talking a lot about WPF pixel shaders, but we really haven't talked in detail about what they actually are. So today we have Nikola Mikhailov with us. Sorry about that. Um, and uh, he's going to give us an introduction to all the pieces of a shader as well as how to write one. Let's first take a look at the ripple effect or twirl. Okay. Uh, control K U. So you saw how this text changed. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll run it quickly to actually see it in action. Oh, cool. So that's, the, that's what this pixel shader does. And that's just a regular text block. Yes. Right? And the uh, cool thing is that the WPF CIDR designer in Visual Studio mm -hmm. just works with effects. Let's show the toolbox. Um, so I can... Very good. Improvise in there. Yes, I can get an ellipse and drag drop it on the designer surface. Uh -huh. And this is what I get. Oh, wow. So you can see the effect in action so, on the yeah. designer surface. Oh, that's great. Um, and uh, you might think that this effect is reasonably hard or not straightforward to do, but if you look at the code behind, mm -hmm. you'll see it's pretty easy. It's just three lines of code. Mm -hmm. um, we, instead of returning the color of the current pixel, mm -hmm. we use some sines and cosines and some input value and return some other color of some neighboring pixel. That's all. Cool. And that's how it looks. Thanks a lot for coming. Thank Do you. Do you have an awesome demo that you could take us out on? Um, so I found this very cool demo uh -huh. on um, one person's block and I just want to show it. I think it's great. He did a really amazing job. So he did a water reflection demo and that's how it looks like. Wow. You can find his block uh, on the we'll slides. We'll okay. link to it. Um, so that's his demo. Great. All right. Yes. Well, thanks, Nicole. Thank you.